Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Support and Resistance Series Third Lesson What is a Stop Hunt? In this lesson, you will learn who performs the stop hands, why they do it, how they do it, and the time frame they use. Who do the stop hands? The forex market is manipulated by the big players, big personal funds and big banks, some call them also the market makers. They have offices all around the world and trade 24 hours, 5 days per week. They trade huge funds and to meet their orders they need to induce the crowd in the wrong direction, at a specific level of interest. Example At my yellow line, the big money have the will to buy and they have huge liquidity to put there. If they are willing to buy, they need a lot of people to sell. Therefore, they create a big bearish candle inducing the crowd to sell now. This way, they have their seller meeting the amount they want to buy. Once they have bought, the market will go up again. Let's see in detail. The stop and concept. Time frame, where it starts. They start to manipulate the market from the 15 minute chart and above. Below, they don't get too much involved. Principle. The big players will induce the crowd in the wrong direction to grab the money they need. And here is a detailed example. Stop and mechanic. First, the big boys go against a good level aggressively, inducing a breakout. And they do it in three pushes, usually with quite big candles. So, here is our resistance level, strong level, the price is here, they make one push, two push, quite steep, going against the level. When they do that, the aggressive traders will put their entry, my yellow line here, and their stop loss, my red line here. So, this will be automatic orders. So, what do the big players after that? They trigger the entry of those breakout traders, aggressive traders. Once they have done that, the big boys trigger the breakout, then reverse the price and eat their stop loss. So those traders are out and they lost their money. Once this is done, it's creating a new eye just above. Other aggressive trader will place new order and at the same level, most of the time, there is the most conservative traders' orders also. We are talking about buy stops and sell stops. So what they do is the aggressive trader place their new buy above the high and the, their stop loss as the newly created low. Once they do that, the market maker come back again to the level aggressively once again and Sometimes they go just a little above, just a little below, and what they do at this level, they open the spread, they widen the spread, to trigger the buy stops just above the level. And you can see it directly on your chart. You place a spread indicator on your MetaTrader 4, and when the price will reach a level of support and resistance, you just play to watch the spread, and how it, it will go from maybe two pips to five, six pips, and sometimes more than that. There is people really manipulating the market, and they have the control above your MetaTrader 4 too. I will not get in detail here, but they have this power, and they can use it. So just after they did that, they have taken all the money possible now, they have attracted a lot of buyers when they had actually a lot to sell there, so finally their goal is met. They reverse for real and will shift the zone, leaving there a lot of retail trader with a loss. Let's come back to the average of the weak styles to plot your support and resistance. 
coming back to plot our level, that is why in my understanding the end of the weeks represents in a way the extreme point where the big players have performed in the previous attempt the stop ends. And therefore, those levels make more sense and seems more accurate in my own trading. If you reflect how the crowd has been taught in majority to plot their support and resistance, they use most of them the end of the body. If you read a textbook, they will tell you don't take care of the weak, this is just noise, just take the end of the body, and this is not true. Since we see the big money break a little the psychological crowd level before reversing them most of the time, the weak sound to be the best choice to position your level. This is my personal opinion, try it for yourself and let me know your own results. To summarize, a stop hunt is a market inducement realized by the big players. They induce the crowd in the wrong direction. It has often the shape of a M or a W candlestick pattern on your chart. It occurs on all time frame above the 15 minute chart. If a level of support and resistance is well plotted, it should have around 70% chances of reversal. But we must be aware of the stop hunt practice and be ready to react to it if it forms. Additional tips coming back to our support and resistance types. Weeks works best because it shows until where the previous stop hunt has been made. In other words, where exactly the big money reversed the market the previous time. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. And if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market. And my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex. And IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia and the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye!